Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we want to take a look at a way to add custom snapping to your collection instances. Here's what I mean. I have this object with some holes arbitrarily placed in it. I want this wire to line up nicely with each of these. However, I'm going to want to be able to move it around quickly and not have to take a lot of time to line it up. Also, I may be adding instances of this box to my scene, and I still want those snapping points to work the same in the instances as they do in the original. For instance, if I'm in top view, and I grab this end of my wire, I line it up with one of my holes, and then drop it in. This is kind of what I'm going for, but I want this to be a snapping point. Currently there's no vertices or faces, and this isn't on a grid of any kind, so I don't have anything on this mesh to snap to. In doing a little looking around, I found that empties become vertex snapping points. So if I go into my plug box collection here, and I add an empty, I'm gonna add an empty sphere, just to differentiate it. And then I take that sphere and I place it where I want my snapping point to be. Maybe just below the surface, centered with my hole, just like that. I'm gonna duplicate that for the other holes as well. There, now I have a snapping point inside of each hole. I make sure that those are in my plug box collection. I'll go ahead and hide this collection, and then add a collection instance of my plug box. The collection comes with both the mesh and the empties in that object. Now, if I turn on snapping, and make sure that I'm on vertex snapping, I'll edit my wire. Choosing the endpoint, I'll go into top view. Now when I move, you'll notice that each of these empties becomes a possible snap target. This makes lining up my wire with each of these holes really simple. Here I'll duplicate my wire a few times and hook them up into the various holes just to make something interesting. So there you go, custom snapping targets. You can reuse these every time you instance one of these collections. I hope you find a good use for this and I hope these tips and tricks make using Blender easier for you. If you've got some feedback, leave it in the comments section below. If you're enjoying my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. So until next time, I'll catch you later.